Hey folks, Corax here. One of my favorite atomizers is the GP Spheroid. This is the V4 version and here it is sitting on a Piccolo V4. I love its vape. This is the most flavorful atomizer in my book. I have many. All the finest atomizers in the globe. Most of them are flavorful. Most of them are amazing vape, flavors at its best. But in just the flavor front, nothing to beat the GP Spheroid V4. This is the ultimate, my number one among all these. There are many reasons. One, this is a very compact atomizer, 16 mm and you saw the chamber in my previous video, absolutely short. And the way it functions is superb. There is no other atomizer which beats it in its taste. This is so good. And today I am using a flat barrel build with Japanese cotton. Let me show you how I did it. For this setup I will be using flat ribbon wire which is 1mm by 0.8mm and I will be using some Japanese Muji cotton and the coil will be wrapped in a 2.5mm diameter so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 it will be wrapped here. And end result will be something like this. Keeping the coil flatly rested on the deck, we will trap both the ends from the outers. One from here and the other from here. So here is how it looks. Let's cut off these excess wires. Thereafter, let's make the ends sit down. Just place them down like so, so that they don't short out between themselves and don't touch the chamber wall. This one, it's a very compact atomizer, right? Anyway, looks fine. Now let's remove the winding tool and see how the coil looks like. Here you go. Now note one thing, this is not a micro coil, this is not a compact coil. The intention is to make a spaced out coil. Why? Because this is flat ribbon wire, right? It's not round normal canthal. So flat wire, there will be hardly any space between each wrap if you make it compact. And then breathing of the wick for getting your flavor might be a problem. So if you keep these gaps, the air breathes out easily. Now let's position the coil a little nicely and we'll take a ohms read. Ensuring that it is not touching anywhere, neither the base nor the two posts. Seems to be fine. And how much does it read? 1.06 so it's about 1 ohm, 1.1 ohm coil. Let's give it a dry burn. Yeah, glowing fine. So let's wick it. Like I said, I'll be using Muji today. Which is same like Kojandu which is about half an mm in thickness and I'll cut a one centimeter piece. Remember we need to cut it lengthwise 
This one centimeter should be this way, not this side. We have to follow the weave of the pad, else it will not wick. So one centimeter is roughly here, and eyeballing will do. So here is my piece. Half centimeter by one centimeter. So I'll just give a slight curve. That loosens up and then I'll peel off one layer, one top layer. The bottom one I'll leave. One top layer I'll peel it off. Here you go. Then roll this end a little bit, make it pointed and we will insert it into the coil. Holding the coil, pull it and then again little bit of sliding off, slight resistance. Now I'm not like many folks who use a very less amount of cotton. In my case, I pack it little tighter than the rest. So you have a resistance here. See, it is not free moving. It is getting tightened up here. That is what I want. In my opinion, cotton pad, Kojandu, Muji, Shishido, anything. They should have some sort of restriction. It should be restrictive movement inside the coil, not free flow, like so. So here we are fine. Now as usual, both the sides, I'll cut it off right to the edge of the deck. One, two. Don't worry, perfect sizing is not important now because after we put the chamber cap on, then we will further trim it down. Now let me saturate the wix and give it a vapor test. I'll be using Mr. K line of juice today. This is a nostalgia. It's a tobacco and maple syrupy blend and this is an 80% VG juice. And now let's check the vapor. Perfect. So let's assemble everything, fill the tank and vape it. Now before we attach this top cap, it's wise to gather everything up, the wick ends I mean. Let them be gathered vertically, this plane. I'll tell you why. So it's like a bow tie. Now this has to pass through these two slots. And because these are vertically cut, that's the reason I made it vertical. So ensuring that the wick enters the slots from both the sides. Let's press it in. Like so. Can you see how much of the wick is outside? We don't need that much, we'll be cutting it off. But this is to give you an idea that how to set up the wicks in the spheroid V4. Okay, now I will trim the ends. Cutting each off as close to the chamber cap but still leaving something outside. And then let's flare them up. Okay, at this stage comes in the tank, but no, today I'll be fitting the Ultim tank. Lately I'm seriously digging these Ultim tanks from GP. They look cool. Now to replace the steel tank with the Ultim tank, firstly remove the drip tip. And remember, this tank is press fitted from top with this chimney bell, but it is threaded from bottom into the deck's base. So the tool required to do this job is a simple pen. The tip end will go inside the chimney and then gently push it out. Here. Now 
Thereafter, let's loop the O-ring. And fit the same on the ultim. Now like the Heron's Ultim tank, kindly note that the GP logo is offset from the center. It is little towards one end. One end is longer, one end is shorter. This shorter end goes on top, this longer end goes down. Why? Because this longer end is going to accommodate the stainless steel part. And so the logo will be visible above the stainless steel end. If you put it upside down, the logo will go inside the stainless steel part. So keeping this on top, the logo on top end, attach the bell. As simple as that. Now let's fill it. Heck, you can actually dump it in. Like so. Now screw in the base. Like so. Attach the drip tip and we are good to go. Now attach it on a mod. Ensure that the airflow is open here and take the first vape. Fantastic. As flavorful as it gets and the vapor production is also okay. <laughs> Once again. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Simple to build, easy to set up and rock solid vape. The performance is superb. Taste as usual a spheroid taste, the best. This is a 1.2 ohm coil. Let me put it in a regulated mode and show you. Yeah, 1.1. And the performance. Too good. This is I'm firing at 15 watts. So yes. As usual, one of the best addies, rebuilding is not all that difficult, vapes well, it's keeping up well, no gurgling, no flooding, no nothing, no problems at all, no leakage. This is one of the most friendliest atomizers to carry around, it never leaks. I have taken it everywhere, kept it in my pocket, in my jeans. In my bags, car's boot, doesn't leak. And did I say, I'm loving this look. So friends, I hope you like this video. Try out this build. It is working very well. Thank you for watching this video friends. Hope you enjoyed it. See you till next. Bye bye. Remember, vaping is a healthier alternative and we have the right to make that choice.